these may look the same, very similar, but there are so many differences that I cannot wait to show you, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back if you're new here. Thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And today it's all about the Dooney and Burke Essex bags. I have two currently. I used to have more. I did have a black one, but I sold it, sold it. These are slightly different. And I wanted to talk about each one individually and then both at the same time because first of all the Essex bag uh, I believe they came out in 1994 correct me if I'm wrong but that's my research all of this is done by me and my research of what I found so there were three sizes they have the small which I don't own the medium which is this red one and the taupe is in large and this one is well worn <laughs> as you'll see coming up let's look at this one this is the taupe color it has solid brass hardware on all of the rivets and i'm not sure if this is solid brass or not someone out there can tell me but it's they're very heavy and the real ones the duck's eyes are sharp detailed where you can see the dot in the eye let me show you the other one let's get that in focus you can see the detail also i'm kind of pointing out things that can prove that your bag is authentic as well. So the hardware on these is bra solid brass hardware and on the straps on this hardware it does actually say solid brass and I will try to <laughs> show you that. I'm not sure if it's upside down or not but it might have been. Here we go solid brass is what it says on both of them show that this one might be a little better right here solid brass is what it says and <clears throat> also this is different so my medium size has you can also tell if it's authentic sometimes it, they have Dooney and Burke stamped on the rivet right there hopefully that's coming in where you could see that but my large one does not so this is still authentic <laughs> but not all of them have Dooney and Burke stamped on the rivet right there uh, these bags, I think, uh, originally Dooney and Burke sold in the 80s and 90s for $200 to $380. That is a lot of money for that time. A lot of times, I think what happened with these bags is they became so expensive for the time, they ended up with a lot of fakes. And uh, they, fakes and knockoffs all the time on Dooney and Burke, uh, especially back in that era, there was a lot of fakes. And there's still fakes online. A lot of times you can feel the difference between a real and a fake, but I'm also giving you some other things to look for, for real versus fake. So another thing, this <clears throat> Dooney patch logo right here, is going to be glued and sewn. How you find out if it's sewn is right here. And on the fake ones, it'd just be glued and you could peel it off. 
and I'll show you the red one too. Here's that right there. And you undo it and you can see that it is sewn on as well. So another telltale sign if it's fake and you can peel off that. It, it's a fake. These little, so sometimes these bags come with these. I think people lose them. You know, just like coach hang tags, this is the Dooney hang tag but for the vintage bags. And it's always attached by the leather. And I believe this is British tan uh, trim. And like I said, they're usually the, I think the beak is kind of close to the body like that. Not too close, but right there, that detail. Hopefully it's focusing. Um, that's another tell sign. I've never seen a fake gold fob or brass fob on the Dooney, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. <laughs> but the details give it away is what I, I read. Let's see. And both have six brass feet that are also leather and brass. And here is... Here is that one and here is that one. So the, um, see the leather strip with the brass feet on the Essex bag. So they both have that. And then they have the back pocket right here and right here. Let's talk about measurements. The measurements across on the medium is 10 and it is eight high and four and a quarter depth. The large is 11 across, 8 high, same height, it is 5 in depth, so a little bit, a little bit bigger, it's a large size. <laughs> so just a side view, bottom view, front view, and then the back, just so you can see it one more time. And these are both all-weather leather. Yes, this taupe one has, uh, they wore this a lot because the color faded off of the, the taupe kind of faded away or got color transfer, I'm not sure. But this one is very worn in, but it's very comfortable, comfortable to wear because it's, it just, it gives it character, you know, all this squishiness. This one, this one has been used more than this one. It's a little more stiff, but both are the all weather leather. Now let's go on to the inside. So they all have the underbelly of the leather right here, just a raw leather. They both have the pocket that looks like that. What I just noticed at the bottom those rivets down there actually say Dooney and Burke so, on them. Another telltale sign. Now this one, the tag is right here and it's cut. And all that means is it's still authentic. It just was sent to the outlet because they had too many or, you know, too many in the warehouse. They need to get rid of them. So uh, they typically cut halfway through and that meant it went to the outlet. <clears throat> Still has the registration number on the back where you can see it. And that A number means that it was made in the USA. And also the B and D are also made in the USA when you see that on there. Let me show you this tag is not cut. And it also has the A at the beginning of the registration means it's made in the USA now this one is different on the bottom there's no rivets but this one like I said is beat up <laughs> it's seen better days uh, pin marks whatever I didn't pay very much for this one <laughs> there you know this is the back of that pocket here's where you see all weather leather and then let me show you 
this one all weather leather and let's flip that pocket up and it looks like this sometimes there will be a sticker on the back of these pockets with their uh i believe it's the bag you know type of bag it is um so you sometimes find stickers sometimes you don't these did not have stickers so i do find that interesting that this one has the rivets at the bottom and the other one does not but the pockets are identical so when you're looking for a dooney an authentic dooney always look inside for the tag and registration number inside the tag and some will have made in costa rica made in mexico i believe and um, those are authentic too just make sure that you research what the tag looks like and how it is sewn in i'm gonna open this one up again the the red white and blue tags that they came with started in the late mid to late 80s they started sewing in these tags for authenticity so there are slight differences in differences i didn't even notice until i started filming these two different bags the large taupe versus the medium red and the red is in much better condition but a lot of times you'll find the corners to not be the greatest but there's no exposed piping on either one they're just they've been worn and especially this taupe one right here and then yeah here let me show you the you can see one has the dooney and burt uh, maybe you can't but even the threading on the red one is yellow versus the taupe one has uh, more of a light tan threading on it. I think that is all the details that I have found <laughs> on these Essex bags. I don't own the small. I don't think I will own the small. Um, but if you're looking for a large, be careful because the measurements are really close. I mean, 10 and 11. That's what I come up with. And I measured from down here at the bottom. Also, I measured from here to the top of the flap, and then I measured, you know, down here for the depth. So, yeah, very close, yet very different. Had no idea about the inside having the Dooney and Burke uh, on the rivets and even on the inside of this one. So, if you know any more details on the Essex bags and do you have one of these... I, I really enjoy them and uh, I didn't know that there were multiple sizes so I thought in case you're in the market for one you'll know the differences and what to look for for authenticity and yeah they're gorgeous bags from the 90s I mean look how they're holding up right now I mean yeah this one's worn like I said it has a lot of character a lot of character <laughs> but I still love it and you know that that weird color thing it's sitting against the body it it doesn't it doesn't bother me <laughs> so let me do a couple of mod shots after this but i appreciate you all watching and uh don't forget to hit the like subscribe comment down below do you have these essex bags and are you going to get one? And do you want the medium or large or the small? <laughs> and I have dogs coming in here now. So it's about time for mod shots. And uh, thank you again for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Authentic authentication authentic